Tyrannosaur and what other animals did by Jessica Mertz. On a class trip to the wildlife park, Clara couldn't wait to meet her favourite animal, Elsie, the giant tortoise. Mr Biggity didn't think much of tortoises, and the more Clara looked, the more she sees that Elsie and her animal friends really are amazing. A special guest. We have a tortoise listening to us today because the story is about a tortoise. The children of Class B, Dearest Darlings Primary School, arrived at the World Park, Wildlife Park with their new teacher, Mr Biggity. Clara was particularly excited to meet the animals, especially the tortoise. She was Clara's favourite. Mr Biggity wanted to see the animals too, but for an entirely different reason. Today, children, I will show you why humans are better and more important than other animals. Mr Biggity liked to ask questions he already knew the answer to. Can a baboon launch a locket to the moon? Can a tortoise write a book or a giraffe farm fields for food? No, 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 they can't. But a human can, said Mr Biggity. Humans really are the most marvellous, the most splendid, quite the best. Clara wasn't sure. A sign caught her eye and she stopped to read it. Goodbye, Elsie. Today we said a sad goodbye to Elsie, our giant tortoise, as she heads to her new home for elderly animals. Elsie is 150 years old. Poor Elsie, said Clara, but nobody was listening, least of all Mr Biggity. Hmm, interesting, very interesting, said Mr Biggity. Just as I suspected, this tortoise head is the size of a tiny walnut. You can't do proper thinking with a brain that size. But Clara wasn't so sure. Do animals feel sad, she asked. Sad? Ha, replied Mr Biggity. Does a hippo cry? Does a tortoise feel teary? Do penguins whimper with worry? He also liked to answer questions with more questions. No, 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 they don't. Their brains are far too small for feelings. But Clara wasn't sure. Can animals talk to each other? asked Clara. Talk? Ha! Can a chimp chat? Can a lemur speak Latin? Can a, carrot, a parrot put on a play? Ridiculous, scoffed Mr Biggity. But do they help each other? asked Clara. Of course not, he replied. Run, squawk, hoot and squeak. That's all animals do. They really are such silly and selfish creatures. Clara still wasn't sure. She decided to say nothing. But she saw everything. She saw the giraffe and the ostrich. And the elephant too. Look at this big beast just over the street, Mr Biggity. Animals just don't know everything. Animals are not always fond of toys. Use tools, ha, replied Mr Biggity. Can an elephant build a house? Can a rabbit fix a car or a squirrel sew a suit? No, 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 they can't. In fact, animals don't care about the world around them. Now, Clara was absolutely sure that Mr Biggity knew nothing at all. Gather round, Class B, let's go over what we've learned today, said Mr Biggity. One, animals don't have feelings. Two, animals can't talk. Three, animals don't help each other. Four, animals can't use tools. Five, animals don't care about other things. But nobody was listening, least of all Clara. Surely animals do feel love, whispered the children. This time, Clara asked some questions she already knew the answer to. Do animals make friends? Do animals care for their babies? Do animals need kindness? Yes, yes, and yes they do, replied all the children. Well, interrupted Mr Biggity, I know one thing for sure. Hippos definitely don't have manners. You see what the hippos are doing? Clara knew something for sure too. All animals really are marvellous and splendid and quite the best. And now she had two new favourites. I hope you enjoyed the story. Look at Potter's did, he's having his breakfast.